Blog Talk Radio. Good evening. Aloha. Hello, Adam Tail. This is me, mm-hmm. Jonathan Alexander, and I'm here to host our show, Life, Laughter, Happiness. Today, I have my co-host, Barbara. Are you there, Barbara? Yes, I'm here. Hi, everybody. And for Psychic Night, we have Dale Shear. Are you there, Dale? Yes, I am. Hi, yeah, this Dale. Is a, aloha. Wow. Yeah, big aloha to everybody. Even though um, I'm not in Hawaii, but I have spent most of my time there. I live in Lake Tahoe at this moment. So, um, But I still always say aloha to everybody because it's just a nice, friendly thing to say. So, like I was saying, Barbara, sure. Um, it's crazy here, Johnny. Oh, and happy birthday, yeah. Johnny, from yesterday. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Did you and have a nice birthday, Johnny? What did you do? Yeah. What did you do? Uh, me and my family, we did a Blue Jeans, and, uh, you know, we, uh, it was interesting because it was, uh, everybody had seen each other's face for such a while because of the coronavirus. So it was neat to see everybody and they all sang to me and uh you know, I'm I'm not sick, but boy did I eat a lot of Starbucks. Because my sister she got me some candy. <laughs> candy is the most common gift and to me because they all they don't it's like it's like for some reason nobody well, I don't know, I'm not really into clothes, so so they always say, Okay, here's the Twizzlers, Johnny, you know. Here's the Toblerone, and I, um, you know, it, 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 it's been interesting turning, I mean, I'm turning 48, turned 48, wow. and, um, at least it's not 50. <laughs> what? At least it's not 50. I remember my 50th birthday. Well, actually, you're going to love this. Uh, we have had a lady on twice on the show. And um, her name is Maureen Skin, I believe that's her name. And uh, it turned out it was her birthday yesterday. We shared a birthday. She's a theta healer and a medium. She's a what? And she's a theta healer. She does, like, theta healing. It's, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but she's also a medium. But she does a thing where she will help you get over your fears. She's done it with Barbara oh, oh, oh. before. And, um, okay, I got it. I mean, yeah. And then there is, um, and it's interesting. I also share a, a, a birthday with Joyce Keller, who is um, who is um, a good friend of mine. And uh, yesterday I told her I said happy birthday, and she went happy birthday right back at me. So it was Keller's also in the same book that you're in, and the top 100 yeah. psychics and astrologers in America. Have you two ever met? No. Okay, I don't want to talk about <laughs> this. I'll talk about your birthday. But anyway, do we have any calls right, at the moment? We actually do. We do. Okay, area code 780 is the first one. 780, hello. Welcome to Life, Laughter, Happiness. You're on live with Psychic Gail Shear. Thanks for taking my call, and happy belated birthday, Jonathan. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, who's this? It's Michelle. Hi, Michelle. How are you? And where are you from? I'm I'm from Canada. My goodness. What part? Alberta. Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta. Okay. Is that the New York side or is that the other side? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think we're close to New York. Um, where are you close to in the States? Because I'm trying to figure out, you know, I think Montana. Montana, oh, wow. so like okay. Calgary, Alberta is north. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's cool. And how is the yeah. weather up there right now? It's actually not too bad. It's, um, I think, going to be 20 tomorrow and then 25. So we work in, um, I think we're degrees Celsius, and you guys are Fahrenheit. I can't remember. Yeah, so what would that be Fahrenheit? Um, I think about 70. Well, that's nice. That sounds cool. Yeah. Sounds yeah. really good. Um, the thank you for being a part of the show. Um, how can I help you? 
Thanks for p- taking my call. Um, so I'm just curious what you're picking up from love. Obviously, everything's at a standstill, but I still put myself out there. Um, you're not going to go without love for the rest of your life. There's an okay. older gentleman that you meet, maybe 10 years older or so, and there seems to be a D in his name. Um, very nice, very, very sweet and very kind guy. Um, and you meet him in connection to friends or work or something of that sort. And it's a good thing. And, um, there is marriage for you around the bend. I don't know how long away, but there is marriage for you if you want it. Oh, cool. So that part's good. Yeah. Um, I don't see you alone the rest of your life. So it's all, but who's um, going to the doctor or a nurse around you? Do I have like a nurse or doctor around me? Yeah. A friend of mine is a nurse. Okay. And is there an S like in Sam? Is there an S in her name? Um, no. What is her name? Linda. Linda what? Linda Witt. Linda, spell that? Uh, W-I-C-K is her last name. Okay, there's something with the answer to that. But anyway, um, there's some contact that needs to be made with you and her. Okay. Uh, I don't know. When was the last time you talked to her? Um, a little while ago, but it was very. She was very self-absorbed, so I didn't want to have another conversation with her because the whole conversation was about her. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's okay. Sometimes that happens. Let it yeah. go, and then just say before you say anything, and you call her. Go. I just want to let you know it's my turn to talk. <laughs> Yes. That's all you need to do, and it'll be fine. Because she knows okay. her senses that you're mad at her, and she doesn't know why. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay. And also, yeah. what's, the matter with your, what's the matter with your car? I'm not sure. There does seem to be something off, but I haven't pinpointed it, to be honest. Okay, we'll take it in because it's not running quite right. Okay, thank you very much. I mean, you know, it's, it's nothing major, but it's not it's not running co- quite right. Yeah, that does make you know. sense. Okay, and what else do you need to know real quick? Uh, maybe what you're picking up around work. I am still working um, from home, yeah. thankfully, or I'd be extra stressed, but... Uh, maybe what you're kind of picking up for the future for there. It feels really good. Like, I feel like this is where I'm going to retire. What do you do? What type of work? I'm a maintenance scheduler in the it's a chemical industry. Well, that's kind of a fun job. Yeah. Um, you, there it, that is, you know. Uh, yeah, you'll stay there as long as you want. There's no problem with it whatsoever. Okay, good. I get nervous because I've had some fun before, so, yeah, just a little bit paranoid sometimes. No, it, it, it'll be fun. Well, I thank you okay, so much good. for calling. I think we uh, thank you. did a nice reading on you. Okay. Thank you very much. Everybody have a wonderful sure. weekend. Thank, thank you. you. For private what? consultation, for, for me only, it's 808-372. One eight one six. That's eight zero eight three seven two one eight one six. Okay. What else we got, Johnny? All right. We got area code six three one. Oh hi. My name is Suzanne. Thank you for taking my phone call. I have a couple of questions. My first is, when do you see a love life coming in for me? tell you it's coronavirus i think we're about a love life i can't believe it unbelievable where are you from long island new york okay yeah my favorite place all right um you've had opportunities with several men but you're real fussy 
And, uh, they're not real fussy. I mean, they have to bring something to the table. They do, you know, they're like want to rush. Either they're too slow to want a commitment, or they want to rush it. You know, make out but no commitment. You know what I'm saying? Well, most men don't make commitments. They try not to. <laughs> so keep that in mind. You know, but um, I see. Are you are you starting to date online or trying to date online? Not anymore. I kind of gave up with that. Hmm. I don't think you should. I think you should find one that works for you. I don't want to pay. or this, I've been, I don't know, I'm just getting down with them. Well, how are you going to meet somebody in the middle of a coronavirus? Well, I don't mean this second. I meant like, you know, over the summer or September or October, you know, then. Well, this stuff ain't going away, girl. I mean, you know, it's going to stick around for a while. So uh, oh. the the only thing is, I do I'd like you to go back online. Just some free ones, you know. I'd like you to go back online, and um, I do see you meeting someone, like online or through a friend, and really nice guy that you'll be able to go to shows with if they ever open up New York again, you know, with the shows, and places that you'll be able to go to, and do things. And I feel that the one you'll meet this time won't be after sex so much, but be after more starting off as a friend and then going from there. Well, that's good. Do you know when I'll meet them? Time is not good for psychics. So, I mean, because we're dealing with the coronavirus and everything else, um, it's rough. You know, I can't say exactly when, but it's going to be rough. Okay, and I also applied for a bus monitor job, and I went yesterday, I got the job, but they were going to train in August. Do you see me getting that and starting that? Yes, for sure. Um, yeah, what I have exactly, a, though, what's exactly a uh, bus monitor? Well, they watch the kids on the bus, maybe special needs kids, They, you know, while they go bring them to school and bring them back. I'm a teacher aide now. But I, well, the schools are closed, but I had to go today just to go. But I don't like the job at all. I don't like the people there. I don't like, it's far away. I don't like, it. it's just not me. So I'm, that's why I applied for a different job for September. Well, you're going to like it. It's going to be fun. All right. Yeah, I applied. Do you see me getting the one, the bus monitor job I applied to yesterday, or do you see one closer to my house? <sighs> Uh, the one you applied to yesterday. Okay. I don't care. I could be wrong on that. It's like either either one. It doesn't matter. You get it. Well, that's good. That's good. And real quick, do you see anything else going on with my son or moving or anything real quick? Well, I can't do a full-on reading like that. Oh, okay. Uh, I do see... No, I do see... You have enough money to survive and be okay, you know, so, you know, you're hanging in there. And uh, but you're doing better than most, except you're bored to death. And But, you know, you have friends, and the sun keeps you, you know, entertained. So I really wouldn't worry so much. Yeah, well, he, he he was living with me, but now he's living with his dad because of the coronavirus. So I'm hoping the college is open up because then he can live with me part time in September. Because I miss him. Well, I understand that. I think uh, it depends on where you live. I know mean, New York is different. Where does he go to college? Um, by me in New York. Uh, you know, so, I mean, a, a community school, community. Okay, uh, what are they saying about opening it up? What are they saying? Because I know out west here in Nevada, they're starting, they were saying they're going to open them up August, September. Yeah, we should be open by September, hopefully. Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. And well, I could, I could do it this way, is where I see your son living with you. So I oh, guess that'll great. be okay. Good. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Well, you have a great day. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. I love what the else is that? Oh, the next one? Well, I love the new colors. They're all new so far. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Well, we, love New- we love New York. We love Long Island. You know, we and love all that. Canada. 
We had one from Canada. That was the one from Canada. 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 Yeah. Now? Is she calling you? Yeah, there was a lady that was can- yeah, a lady from Canada called her. That was a Canadian um, um, Erica. I recognized her. Mm-hmm. Okay, Good. Jenny. What else do we have? All right, seven seven three. Seven seven three. You're on live with Psychic Del Shear. Hello. Hi. What's your name and where are you from? This is Elizabeth from Chicago. Oh, my God. They're just from all over the world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are you guys doing over there in Chicago? Is the uh, virus still out of hand over there, or what's going on? Um, it, well, it's summer now, but they're starting to reopen all the businesses, but we have to wear masks everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Here's the thing about that real quick. Trump, in a way, I'm not for or against, but he is um, between a rock and a hard place because if he doesn't open up everything, uh, then the people will be in a depression because the government can't pay, mm-hmm. every, you know, pay our bills. Mm-hmm. If and if he does open it up, then they take what he's doing. They have the governor doing. He's taking a chance that a lot of people will die. So if mm-hmm. it gets really bad, to lock us all down again. And if it doesn't, then you know he'll leave it as it is. I do believe that they will be coming up with uh, a vaccine, like a vaccine that will hold it down. Really mm-hmm. by September, you know, soon by September. Mm-hmm. So that part, you know, is good. Um, uh, okay, what do you guys do in Chicago? What do you need to know? Um, I'm waiting on a settlement from an accident, and the company has just been denying responsibility, and it's been they're dragging it out to the very last legal month. And uh, I want to move. Okay, well, what's a matter with your attorney? Uh, I have a new what? attorney. The other, yeah. The new attorney is younger? Yes. And he's going to be a go-getter. And because of him, you'll get your money soon. Good, good. So I, I would like to move. I moved back here two and a half years ago, and I pretty much lost everything from this accident. So um, mm, uh, I would like I'm to sorry. move and retire somewhere. Where do you want to move to? I have a dream of retiring in Europe. I have a lot of family in Europe. Well, I got the same dream, don't you, Barbara? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) If I had my choice, I'd be retiring in Paris. I could pay that right now. Barbara, where would you want to retire? Uh, Let's see. Where would I like to retire? French Riviera? We liked it there, didn't we, baby? I love it. Well, there. yeah, Bora, well, you Bora, like to re- somewhere like that. Well, like Blue Mountain, Georgia, but but everybody's different. <laughs> yeah, everybody's different. <laughs> and where, where? Where? Stone Mountain, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, I'll ask you why <laughs> later. Okay, back to the lady. I'm sorry. Where did you want to retire? <laughs> Hello. Well, yeah, I have a medical condition, and until that gets taken care of, I can't work. So I'm thinking this is my chance if I get the money from the settlement. I need to go. There's no point in staying here. Okay, but where in Europe do you want to go? Um, Brittany, Normandy. Normandy. I've been there. Uh huh. Um, at you want to live in Normandy? Uh huh. That's a cool place. A I know, I've been cool dreaming place. about it my whole life. You're kidding. Have you been there? No, I've been dreaming about it my whole life. No. Well, you must have some uh, connection with it. Mm-hmm. Some, somehow, some way. But uh, Normandy mm-hmm. is, um, you know, a lot of military, but at the same token, they still have a lot of the... Uh, 
you know, war stuff there. There's mm-hmm. maybe one or, one or two restaurants. And I had a friend that lived there, and I went and visited her. There isn't many places to live in Normandy. There's not a whole mm-hmm. lot. You might have to live on the outskirts. But if you have a computer, look it up and see. But it is uh, a really beautiful place, and um, it's really nice. Hmm. But I don't know. You might be bored to death there because there's nothing to do. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But, I mean, I can't stay where I'm at because it's just just like uh, well, I can't even explain. Well, stay where you're at. But what you might want to do is go around to a couple of places that you have in mind and take a tour and see and decide mm-hmm. from there and look at the cost true. of living in the whole bit. True, true. You know, so, yes, you can retire in Europe with no problem. And um, I enjoyed it very much there. It was so different than here, and it was so nice, and I really enjoyed it. Oh, wow. I, I just think that America is just kind of like on the verge of collapsing, and I don't see any future here. Well, me. it's not only America. It's everywhere. Yeah. So, so I mean, you know, it, it's not here, and I see your point. Uh, with this virus, has not made things uh, any better? Mm-hmm. And uh, it's all over the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's a matter of pick a place you want to live and enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Are Americans allowed to live there? In Normandy? Mm-hmm. I think so, yeah. yeah. I've been looking online at properties and stuff, and they're a lot cheaper than properties here, like some small places. Well, again, there's. I've been to Normandy, and I've been there twice, and there's not a lot to do there, so... Keep that in mind. I, I mean, I found mm-hmm. one restaurant that was wonderful, and after that, I didn't see anything. So you may have to leave, live like uh, an hour out or something. Mm-hmm. But it, it's the countryside, and it's just beautiful. The whole out of Paris is, uh, I love Paris, but out of Paris is the whole countryside. And mm-hmm. there's lots of seating castles and all kind of things. So take the trip and enjoy you will get your money in soon, and you will be okay. Oh, awesome. Okay? Yes, thank you. Well, thank you right. for calling. Okay, and Johnny, um, give out your number, please. Sure. My number is 516-531-9874. To call for a free psychic meeting. Okay. Right uh, now. Now. Hmm? Right now, everybody. Okay. Well, we've been getting some right. good new people. Great readings still. Yeah. We've been getting them from all over the United States. It's really. And yeah. the new people is good. That means they're getting mm-hmm. a new number. It's good. Right. It's good. Or people are telling them, so that's good, too. Okay. Great. Okay. Who's next? All right. If you're oh, ready, God, we're all five, we one, are two. Just... <laughs> okay. Oh, Hi, caller. Ready. You're on live with Psychic Del Sheer. Welcome to the show. Hello? Um, Hi, uh, Del Sheer. Uh, yeah. Hello, Del Sheer. Good afternoon. I'm calling from Colorado. Calling from where, Colorado? Where'd they go? Hello, Colorado. Yeah. You're on with Dale now. Hi, Psychic Del Shears waiting to hear your question. Hello? Hi. Oh, hi. Yes, yeah, hi. Talk. It's okay. Talk. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I I like the way how you express yourself to when you when you do a reading. Um, my, my question is, um, my daughter and I have to now. We're kind of all part of the group, and uh, I know that it's too much for him to handle. I, I don't I don't blame him. Um, is is he working on it? 
Okay. You are breaking up. Your phone is breaking up. Can you go and center yourself in a different part of the room? Because I only heard half the question. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Apologize. I know your time is valuable. My, and my male friend talk, has talk, a... Uh, he's, he is... Uh, talk slower. Talk slower. Can you hear me? Talk slower. You're speaking too fast, okay? Do you hear me? Johnny, I don't know where yes. you went. Yes. 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 My okay. male Repe- friend... All right, all I, I got friend, out of this is your your girlfriend. What? Hello? Oh. Hello? No. My guy friend. Hello? Hello? Yeah. My guy yeah. friend? My, my guy friend uh, want to know if he is working on the uh, situation that he's Okay, he's, he's, he's saying that her guy friend... Wants to know if if if, she, if he could work, if he's working on a situation that involves a couple of people. Is that right? Yes, sir. Thank you, and I'm sorry for the phone. I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Well, we got that right. You don't know what's going on. Okay, I have no clue whatsoever to an answer to that question because I would need to speak to him. And know what's going on because I'm not getting a clear message from you, unfortunately. Um, I well, uh, I, I, okay. He has a, uh, a a work situation where a couple of employees. Have okay, Johnny. To Johnny, this is bad. Tell her to call back. Johnny, tell her to call yes. back. It's, I call back, to honey. We cannot hear your phone. Is how to your, your phone okay. is messed up. So call back. Okay, go to the next okay. one, John. Okay, the next one is six seven eight. Okay. Six seven eight. Let's try you. You're on live with Psychic Del Sheer. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Hi, my name is Gina. Well, that's a clear connection. That was her phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tina, and where are, you, where are you from? I'm from Georgia. Georgia. That's sort of where Johnny wants to live, right? That's right, where I want to retire. <laughs> Why do you want to retire yeah. in Georgia? They have. Because they need the beach. You what? <laughs> is, is something wrong with him? <laughs> he hates the beach. You asked. I mean,. It's a long story. It's, it's, I don't want to cut out through this lady's time, but it's kind of a long story. Okay. So. All right, all right. I got it. Unless you drowned or something in a different life. I don't know. <laughs> I, it, it, <laughs> I don't get it. This is very strange show to me. Okay. And what is your name, ma'am? Gina. And where are you from? Oh, you're from Georgia. What would you like to know? Mm-hmm. Um, about my... um career and I know what's going on right now and I just want to see will I be able to get out the contract work that I'm in right now um, or do you see like see something more stable be a full time okay, employee what kind, of, what kind of contract are you in right now well I'm a temp employee so mm-hmm. I'm working at a health insurance company right now and I've been working mm-hmm. there for like almost a year and a half Wow, for temp. Mm-hmm. That's, that's pretty yeah. good. I used, temp- I used to do that for temporary work. What's, that's fun to do temporary work. No. But yeah, but when they, you got to um, buy your own mm-hmm. benefits, it's not fun. <laughs> I got that. I got that. Can you ask the guy to hire you? That they, the way the system works or how the company works is just not that easy. Um, because it's all about finding the position that's open that the one that I work in, even though I apply for other positions outside of the department. Mhm. Um, it's rough. The only way mm-hmm. I could, I guess I used to work as a temp when I was younger, but the only way I could see that possibly working is that you quit the temp agency and you quit his office. 
And then, you know, you tell him what's going on and you ask within a month or so, can he rehire you back? I don't know what the laws are about, you know, him stealing you, you know, but uh, if that's the case, then you'd have to go work somewhere else. That's the only way I can see getting out. So so you don't see a opportunity that's, you know, um, that is outside of the company? Even though I'm yes, I you know, do. doing temp I do. work. Yes. Okay. So what type of work what type of work do you do temp temp wise? Um, since I work in a health insurance company, I'm on the Medicaid side. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm dealing with children. Well, can't you work Medicaid for the government? It it's somewhat like that because it's tied into like the state government. Yeah, but you have knowledge <laughs> that most people don't have. So it seems to me anybody would want to hire you that is in that field. But now is the wrong time to change jobs at this point. Okay. So you see, you see within like. This, it's a better time. In other words, check this thing down. It depends on what this virus does. I'm not a world predictor, so I don't know, but it depends on what the virus does. Okay. But, I mean, I do see, look, what you know and what you can do is phenomenal. So I wouldn't give that up for all the tea in China. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, because I was like, I, mean, I was trying to apply, but it just seemed like it's just so hard to even get in the company itself. I'm like, oh my god, I just never thought okay, it would be which, hard. Which company are you speaking of? I'm um, Blue Cross. Oh, I know that company. I used to work for them. You want to get in? Mm-hmm. You want to get into Blue Cross? Yeah. I want to, well, I, since I work in the, the, I'm part of Blue Cross, but I work for the Medicaid side. So I got it. I got terrible. it. I got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can't get involved. I mean, they should be able to hire you at Blue Cross. You think? <laughs> but it's just like, <laughs> you would think, but it's just so much red tape. It's like. And I think it's all about who you know. And I try to network before this coronavirus hit us, but it's just like. Well, you know what? Don't don't, don't despair. You're right about who you know and all that stuff. So mm-hmm. it's, it's all going to be good. Um, it'll all be fine. I mean, you know, it's just a matter of time before you get hooked up with the right company. But with your knowledge and what you know, it's going to be phenomenal. So leave it at that. Okay, okay. Because okay, I was just like... Trying. This might be... The timing might be wrong, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, because I could already see them already sending my thing up to October. And so they just keep it sending and sending because next January it'd be two years. I'm like, I never thought I'd be at a temp position for two years. And you're, well, you're lucky you're working, so leave it at that. All right? You will get hired, and it will be fine. Try some hospitals. Try some, you know, major hospitals that need people to help them with Medicaid. Yeah, I mean, if I find the positions, that's the thing, right? <laughs> yeah, find well, try some hospitals, Medicaid. and they'll help with Medicaid, and, you know, you'll be just fine and not to worry. All right, so I've spoken with you a lot, and you have a good day. All right, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Next now, one. I also want to put out my phone number, 808-372-1816. 808-372-1816 for private consultation, and that's to call me in person and talk. And uh, I have a website. Dale, D A Y L E, Sheer, S C H E A R dot com. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So, and then I also I do many things, you know, but uh, mostly I help people on a one to one basis. Okay. All okay, right. Barbara, talk to me. 
Have some energy. Uh, yes. Oh, gosh. But today I'm not the one to even give out energy. Energy. It is so weird how I have just got lost my energy today. And it's really sad. It's really weird. Why does yeah, this happen I guess to people that where that some days they just feel blah? And well, I don't want to go into my details, but. It's not the best day in the world for me physically. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. Yeah, I know. I, Please, Dale, yeah. maybe you should read it. Can you read it? What's wrong with me? Give me your symptoms. I just, <laughs> I already gave you a symptom before we went on air, and that's as far I as forgot. I'm going. I forgot. <laughs> I'm having early. I'm having early <laughs> dementia. What? 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 Okay, I'm not going to. No, thank you. I don't want to say that, okay? I think people now probably can guess what it is. But I'm going also to get a, uh, my temperature. I'm going to get this thermometer. And I'm going to take my temperature. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. that's what it is. You have a little upset stomach. Okay. Have you, yeah. um, did you check your temperature? Not yet. I just went and got it. I don't believe. Okay, we're going to shut up for three minutes on your side. Oh, no. You take, take another caller, and then I'll tell you what it is when. That's what I mean. <laughs> I mean okay. I want to know what the temperature is. Okay, I, I will do Next it. Next caller is 212. 212. Hi, you're on with Psychic Dale Shear. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Dale. I Hi. have a question. Hello. Happy Friday well, evening. Thank you, ladies. I lived here. Thanks. I was born and raised. I was born and raised in Jersey, so we were neighbors, and I used to hang out in New York. Uh, what part of New York are you from? I'm in Manhattan, and I grew up in New Jersey, so I'm yeah. a Jersey girl too. <laughs> you too. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're special. That's right. That, you know, That's people right. don't realize mm-hmm. how special Jersey girls are. <laughs> Only if you see the movie, you know, Jersey Girl, uh-huh. you know, with Jamie Gertz, then you'd understand. We're very different. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, we've got our <laughs> own spunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't put up with anything. That's the whole thing. We do our own thing whenever we want it, and uh, we just... Don't let anybody boss us around. If they don't like it, we just leave. Oh, ain't that the case? <laughs> uh, how can I help you, darling? All right. Well, I have a question about my career as well. And I'm going through this transition right now. So I'm wondering if I should continue on my path of working at nonprofits and continue to do fundraising or if I should dedicate more time to a new venture. I just invested in this e-commerce course. Oh, and I've been it. Yeah, yeah, so it's about drop shipping and essentially there's lower risk involved because you don't have to pay the supplier until you make a sale. So mm-hmm. So, do you, I, mean, how I feel safer. Do you, how, how does the dropship work? Do you um, uh-huh. personally drop a package, or how does it work? Oh, no, no, no. So, I don't deal with the shipping of a product. So, I go to suppliers, and, you know, there's certain suppliers that this um, – this guy who started this program works with, and he has his team on the ground in China. You know, it's like Alibaba or something similar to that, AliExpress. Mm -hmm. And um, they can do the groundwork for you, and they will actually show you every month what products are trending, and you can select certain items okay. to be right, in right. your Question. store. Uh, and then um, wait, you don't have to buy the inventory. So wait, that's what wait. drop shipping can is, you, you know. Can you hear me? What? 
Can you, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. What I'm going to say right now, um, the uh, it have you checked the company out completely? I have not checked the company out completely, and then I did see something that was a little disturbing, and some guy um, said that there has been some negative comments about the guy who put together the course, which is very comprehensive, by the way, um, and he does seem to know what he's talking about. But um, Okay, wait, 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 you know, wait. The, the, course, the course is excellent, okay? Yeah. And. How much money did you put into it to get the course? $2,000. That's not too bad, but it's a course. But you have to yeah, understand with, yeah. it's with an investment. China. Okay, with China, the problem that with we China. face is, yeah, is um, trying to get any product over here. And I know too many people that are doing that right now. You, it, it's almost impossible. It's totally almost impossible. Maybe in the future that might change. But with the coronavirus, it's very bad. Okay? Um, mm-hmm. I'm just learning right now, so it probably will take me some time to set up the store. Okay. So maybe um, within a couple of months it will be a little better? No, it's a lot longer than that. Honey. You're looking about a year. Mm-hmm. But really? that's okay. You went and spent the money already. You can't get it back, and I would study the course. No, no. I wouldn't give up Actually, there's job a 30-day already. money-back guarantee. Really? And so that was, yes. And so, you know, I also wanted to how, ask how many, whether it's. How long has it been? It's been a week by tomorrow, a week. Okay. Um, then listen to me and listen good. Mm-hmm. You, oh, man. You're in a mess. Um, if you want, you can call me privately, but I will tell you this lightly. Um, you're never going to finish this course, nor are you going to set up your own place. Uh, there's problems, major problems in China. There's major problems with China bringing stuff over here. Um, I am aware of Alibaba. It's a very good company, but you have to really check things out, and you didn't do your job very well. If it were me and I were you, I'd get my money back. That's all I'm going to tell you right now, okay? If you want a detailed reading on it, call me. But I would get my money back. What's your other job? Well, right now I'm actually not working. I used to work in the nonprofit sector, Oh, the nonprofit. And, okay. Yeah, and I have interviewed within the past month, and I heard that I need to wait probably yet another month or so for their board to um, determine whether they have the budget to hire somebody. Okay, then and, I wouldn't work for a company like that. Um, just keep yeah. applying. Keep applying at companies that do have the money and want to do nonprofit. But as far as this course is concerned, it sounds good, it sounds wonderful, it sounds great, but something that is that good is too good to be true. Okay? There's no money Mm -hmm. that you're going to make. In fact, they're going to ask for more money and more money down the line. They're going to up the stakes of you with the course. It's almost like a pyramid scan, okay? Ooh, what about another kind of course in the same area, but supplying products from the U.S.? Would that be worth looking into? Okay. Because I have been thinking you'd, about you'd e-commerce. You'd have to call me for a private reading because just I can't stay on the phone with this for a good long. So all I can say is that sounds good, but I need to know the whole thing. And if you want a private reading, you would call eight zero eight three seven two one eight one six. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so right. much, Dale. You're asking me to involve stuff, but what I'd like you to do is get your money back, okay? Okay. 
and I'll direct right. you in a different place where you'll make more money. Okay. All okay. right. Next Hello, caller. Like, talk to me. Yeah. yeah. This is okay. Plus. Mine is. Uh, what was that, Johnny? What was your temperature? Dale wants to know my temperature. What? What Dale wanted to know my temperature. We were waiting for the caller to end, and then she wanted to know my temperature. So can we do that? What is it? Sure. Thank you. It's 97.8. There's nothing wrong with you. (laughs) I knew you would say that. Okay. Well, Well, 98.6 is normal. I yeah. usually run 97.2 or 4, and it depends. If you're in the sun, you might run hotter. But, I mean, you're fine. You're perfectly normal. You don't have the coronavirus. You Good. Just ate something, or you just or you just had a case of the trip. And I would suggest you taking uh, a diarrhea pill that you get at Walmart or wherever. And you'd be fine. <laughs> Thanks, Dale. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. It's so okay, simple. Good. You're not, you're not sick, okay? Like okay. you've been thinking. Yeah. Every time we get a fever or any time something, our, t- our our temperature goes up. Or oh my God, I got the coronavirus. That's okay. I know. Okay. I've had that scare before, like a couple weeks ago. Okay, so that's good. Now we can. Move yeah. Well, on, like I had my coat clipped in there. Okay. They were take. Wait. They were. Wait. We're having a conversation here. <laughs> <laughs> they took out a, a little bit of, of stuff and you know, then of course it gets a little tiny infected. I had to go back and I'm going I took this to the level of oh my god, I'm gonna get gangrene. I have to go to the doctor, I'm gonna die, okay? <laughs> For your ingrown toenails. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I know. But it's we do get scared. I mean, when so many people right. are getting know, so sick around simple. us. It's so simple. It's just like I'm driving up the hill, and I'm going up to Tahoe, and I was with my husband, and there was a hitchhiker. And I looked at him, I said, don't even think of picking him up. He's going to murder us. He'll kill us. He's going to knife us. We'll be dead. Just keep going. <laughs> And it does happen, though. It does happen, but, you know, it's Mm -hmm. just the way my brain works. I take it to the utmost, the uh, the extreme. Extreme level. Yeah. It's actually a pretty safe way to be. I don't know. (laughs) In my head, (laughs) it's just the opposite. Don't worry. And Richard, who's with us, don't worry. You know, I hate when people do that. Because then when their their world falls apart, they freak out. And then you go to them, don't worry. (laughs) Give it back to them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Okay, Johnny, we're back. It's normal. Okay, Johnny. Next caller, 856. 856, you're on live now with Psychic Del Shear. Hi, now. This is Laura. How are you? Hi, Laura. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm just wondering, can you do a general yeah, where reading? Are you from? Yeah, where are you from? I think it's bad. Okay, what, what part yeah, of Jersey? Um, what part? Surrey Hill area. Okay, it's a very pretty area. My cousin lives there. Uh, it's kind of on the border of Philly. You know, it's really nice. Yeah. Real pretty trees. Yeah. Real pretty trees. Okay. How can I help you, Jersey girl? I just I was hoping you could do a general reading, any kind of messages that you might be getting for me. Yeah. I could do that. Um, okay. let me think for a moment. You've been very frustrated lately. You're basically a very happy person and you go around helping people. If your friends need help, you'll help them. But right now you're in a situation where you don't know if you should go left or you should go right or you should go center. You're in, you know, three different directions. And yeah. you're trying to make <laughs> sense of all this. Part of you wants to move. Part of you wants to stay. Part of you wants to go, you know, in different directions. 
um, as far as relationships, that's almost the same thing. So where do you want me to focus? So my my main two concerns are my career and being able to purchase my house. Those are my main okay. two focus areas. Okay. You do know. Let's look at purchasing your house. I'm really good on real estate. Uh, what are they, they ask what they want for the house? Uh, so it's, About. it's it's expensive. <laughs> under a million? Because everything's a million. Is well, it under yeah, a million? Of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Definitely but uh, everything says zero. Things are at zero interest. What seems to be the problem? Well, I have to I have to have a job so that I can qualify. <laughs> and good, I good thought. Yeah. Good thought. Okay. Uh, so that comes first. The zero right, interest absolutely. rate is going to stay for a while. So not to worry about it, okay? Um, a long while. Uh, well, at least until November, until we know who's going to be president. But uh, the um, you'll be able to put, uh, you, do you have to have that house where you're at? Um. I really want a particular house that's on the market. I really want it bad, like really bad. But I I need a job. This house, I had put a bid on it about four years ago. And my realtor, I don't know what happened with it, but I lost out. And the other person bought it for the exact same amount that I had put in for. So I I still don't understand how I lost that. Well, what question? Were they a cash buyer? Yes, it was. But well, that's why. But but the thing is, they they closed on it in three months' time, and my I was going to close on it in three months' time too. So what's the difference between a cash buy if they're getting a cash or if they're getting it from the bank? Okay, well let me put it. There's a big difference. Um, cash buy guarantee that more or less they're going to buy the house. Okay. Uh, when you go through a bank, there's a lot of paperwork and there's a lot of things that people that have houses don't want to go through. So if I have a choice between two of the same bids, I'm going to take the cash buyer because I know it's going to fly through eventually. With the bank buyer, uh, there could be bumps in the road. That's why you missed out. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, anyways, they fixed but it up even more. And it's on the market again. And and I love what they did with the house. But I've always, I love the location of the house. Didn't you call last week? Yeah. Call last week? I remember <laughs> but I, it. I wanted to have everybody think today. So I've been putting out more resumes. Okay, Barbara, she called last week. And it's just like I remember this conversation. Yes, I remember, Laura. I, I remember. So the most yeah, I remember the whole thing with the house that you want. Something. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, I just don't want to give up on this house. I want it so bad. But well, I you know what? You can it. manifest it. It's just, you, you man, you're putting your manifestation in the wrong spot. You need to manifest a job. Right, that right. Well, I'm, house. I'm focusing on both, though. Uh, it's hard to do that. Do one at a time. If you're going to manifest something that you want in your life, do one thing at a time. And then it may okay. take you a while. Then when you get that, then you manifest the house. Let's put it to you this way. If it's meant to be, and it sure does sound that way, they're selling the house again, then you'll probably get it. So don't freak out. And if it's not meant to be, it just isn't nothing you can do. Do you think they'd be open to a rent to own? Rent to own. It doesn't hurt to ask. You know, this market, though, is rough. It's a buyer's market. It's zero interest rate. So most people want to get cashed out. Uh I mean, the houses are flying. They're flying off the market right now because it's at zero. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let's not talk about this anymore. It was so nice talking to you again. 
You want to ask okay. the same question again next week, call, okay? Well, what about the job, though? Do you see that coming in? Eventually, you will get a job. Eventually. Okay. What Thank type you. of work are you looking for? for? Um, just something in the training and development field. Such as? Training manager would be good. You've be, got to be more specific in what, like, what type of company. It doesn't matter what kind of company. I went to school for instructional design, and instructional oh, designers what that is. can develop. What is we that? can develop training in any industry. If you're a good instructional designer, you can develop training for any industry. Yeah, it's just lost me because I've never heard of that field. Yeah, so that's, well, that's all. That's that's, that's the that degree pay, that you get in training. And that pays training. very well. Uh, just yeah. keep looking. You're going to get something within the next three to four months. So just keep looking. It'll all be good. And it was nice talking to you, okay? Okay, thank you. Take okay, care. Bye. 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 Hey, Barbara. Yes. We're getting people who want really long readings. <laughs> really yeah. long readings. But I it seems like she is manifesting it. that house, though. I mean, she's thinking about it so much. So that's a form yeah, of manifesting right job, there. If you don't have a yeah. job, it's going hard to get a house. We're in a very special, weird market. I mean, the market of today right now with the coronavirus, we don't know when it's over. We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's happening. People want to move. They want to move to different areas. But there's zero interest rate. So if you buy a house, you know, and you put your 20% down or 25% down, you don't have to pay interest. So houses are being scooped up like crazy. At least they are in Nevada, anyway. Seems like they'd rather take, you know, sell the house than rent to own, do that option, that wouldn't be good well, you if only, they don't have to. You only do a rent to own when it's hard to sell the house. Mm-hmm. Because Hopefully it will it, be hard for them to sell that house. Pardon me? I really want Laura to get this house. I know what it's like when you want something so badly. I used to drive by this certain place all the time, and it took me three months to get it. And it, it just made, makes you appreciate it so much once you do get it. So, I mean, I hope so. Well, you manifested it. You yes, manifested it. Mm-hmm. But I have help, you know. I'm wondering if she has anybody to help her. It won't matter. You, you know anybody that has a million dollars cash floating around that they want to just, you know, give up on? No. Not well, at this time. That's okay. no. Well, that's the case, you know. Not that's going to happen. Yeah. Well, it's starting to get a thunder and rain over here. <laughs> Oh, know. and it's cold here. It's got really cold and overcast here. It's very gloomy yeah, all day. See? It's freezing. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's getting weird. It's getting weird. Okay, Johnny, do you have anything else? Yes, we do. Um, area code 512. Oh, great. 512, you're on live with Psychic Dale Shear. Welcome to the show. Oh, hi, Michelle. It's Lisa. Uh, Thank you for, again, I apologize. I know your time is very precious. Thank you for taking my call. Yeah, where are you from, honey? Colorado. Kind of cool oh, right okay. now. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Nice yes, I can, sort of, I can sort of hear you. What is the question? Yes, ma'am. Um, so I I applied for unemployment benefits, and uh, I the... I, I am sh- I am not sure to appeal it because if I appeal it, I don't know if the state is going to find okay, the they, company. They, wait, the hold company. on. Did they deny you? Yes. For what reason? Uh, personal personal reason. Well, it doesn't hurt to fight, but you have a long fight on your hands.
You have a long sight. Oh, sorry. It's not that easy because you stay on, you call anybody on the phone, and it's uh, it's really bad. It's really Should bad. I, really bad? Five, I'm just going to let, five let it hours. go. Pardon me? Well, I wouldn't let it go. Should I'd just, try a little bit. Um, I would try Michelle? a little bit. If if I try, will the company will not hire me back then? What company? The the one that I uh, apply for unemployment benefits. Um, no, they're not going to hire you back. Not at all. Should. So you know. Best you can do is get a job and move on. And I thank you very much for calling back. I appreciate it. Johnny? Johnny. Okay. Yes. I'm going to tell you something right now. We're having, um, where I'm living, a uh, starting of severe thunderstorms. I do not want to stay on the phone because that is how um, uh, Saved by the Light, Daniel Brinkley got hit was by the phone. So, oh, okay. it is enlightening at the moment. Uh, if it's okay, I'd rather end it, okay? That's fine. It's we'll end safe. it. Okay. Do we have a uh, lot yes, of people? Yes, Be careful. Okay, everybody, if you want to get uh, a reading by Dale Shear, please call her directly, but not right now during the sun- thunderstorm. Try tomorrow. I think that would be good and safe. 808-372-1816. And in the meantime, you could write to her via her website, dalesheer.com. And thanks, all you callers out there and all the listeners. We appreciate you. Thank you. And great job with your readings today. That was very enjoyable to listen to, Dale. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Aloha. I'm going to go. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. And thank you, Johnny, very much. Thank you very much for all the work that you've done to make our show a success. And please, everybody, follow us on our YouTube channel and subscribe. Show your support. You can find this show and all of our other more than 300 shows at Life, Laughter, Happiness, YouTube. And check out our Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook pages where we also post our show links and any updated uh, things that we want you to know about, like upcoming special events and shows that we're going to be doing. Right, Johnny? Yes, that's right. All right. All right. Well, well thank everybody you, everybody. Good night, Good night. Have a great night. Bye-bye. <laughs>